Hello guys, welcome to Math Practice Prep by DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be treating several questions on fractions. I think I'm taking 15 questions on fractions. And why I'm taking this much is uh, on, on the, our GED Math um, group on Facebook, a lot of students have complained about not, uh, not understanding fractions. So that's why I'm taking a lot of questions on fractions today. Okay, and I hope this helps um, helps everyone out okay all right so um, okay before I get on to the video if it's your first time on this channel please please try to click the subscribe button and the notification bell when I'm instantly notified whenever we upload uh, a video on the channel okay so uh, let's get on to this um, questions now we have question one let's say you have this fraction it says uh, add add six over ten plus two over ten okay so when you have something like this this is quite easy okay um in fractions uh, you know the the upper number here is what we call your numerator and the lower one here is the denominator okay that's what is called in maths okay so in fractions when you want to add you first of all check the denominator are they of the same value if it's yes it's simple it's just straightforward you can just say 6 plus 2 which is equal to 8 then you put the same 10 over 10 okay so this will be the answer all right where here you can't really leave it um, this way why because um, you know something can go in 8 and also go in 10 which is what 2 so 2 will go in 8 how many times 4 times and 2 will go in, in uh, 10 how many times 5 times okay so we're left with our final answer as 4 over 5 so this is our final answer this can also be your answer but it can be further reduced that's why we cancelled out okay so 2 would go in 8 4 times and 2 would go in in, in uh, 10 10 five times okay and also to help you in math it's always good you know your multiplication times table is quite key I think that's the first thing okay you really have to I know it's a lot of work uh, you know I know you're struggling with a lot of things you're working taking care of the kids the family the house but still please if you really want to get um, your math test you know at, at a go in the blast you really need to know your multiplication times table. It's going to help you in every every of the topics of the GED math test. It's going to help you. So you really need to know. You need just go back. I know it's it my sound. It might sound. Uh, why should you do it? But it's key in math. You just go back. Um, go through your multiplication times table from your two times, your three times, your four times, your five, six. Make sure you have everything at heart, okay? And it's going to really help you in your maths test. All right. So this is what you do when you have uh, the same denominator. And also, don't forget if you want to join the GED Math uh, uh, Practice Group on Facebook, I'm going to leave the link to the group in the video description box of this video and also several other things that would help you in your math practice test i'm going to leave all of them in the video description box of this video all right so let's go to the second question let's say you now have this it says subtract one over seven from three over seven you can see this is also what's easy because you have the same denominator. So it says subtract 1 over 7 from 3 over 7. So this is what this means. This means 3 over 7 minus 1 over 7. Okay. And since we have the same denominator, we just say 3 minus 1, which is what? 2 over 7. Okay. So this is the answer for this. Now let's go a bit further. Okay. Now if we have this, it says 3 over 8 plus 7 over 12 then plus 1 or number 2 over 3 we have to add all this up okay now you can see this fraction here this fraction is a mixed fraction okay and you have to convert this mixed fraction to an improper fraction all right on the on the channel math practice prep um there's a video that i've done on how to convert your mixed fraction to improper fractions and um, the reverse okay i'll also leave the link to that video so it would help you it will help you a lot okay to know this all right so let's convert this let me tell you let's 
let me okay let's do this here now to convert a missed fraction let's quickly do this together let me just re, uh, you know refresh your memory here okay so the first thing you do in converting this missed fraction to an improper fraction you say three times one what is three times one three times one is three then three plus two what is three plus two is equal to what five so it will be what it will become five you put the five in your numerator then you divide by this same three what this denominator divide by three so this is what how you convert your missed fraction to an improper fraction okay now let's let me just quickly do this again just let me quickly refresh your memory on how you also convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction so from here if you have we have here five over three we want to convert back to this so it will be equal to what you would say how many times can three go in five it can only go five times and what is the remainder that is what five minus three what is five minus three that will give us two so that two is the remainder so you put your two here in your uh, your numerator divided by three so this is how you convert back to mixed fraction okay i'm just i just refreshed your memory on this all right but i'm still going to leave the link to the video to help you out all right okay so here we have 3 over 8 plus 7 over 12 plus we've converted this to improper fraction which is what 5 over 3 okay we can't just add add uh, add this way okay because first of all we have different what denominators okay so you can't just add that there's a particular example where if you have um, i think we're going to treat it let me not let me not digress here we're going to treat an example like that and i will remind you okay so here we have different denominators so we have to look for what is common we have to look for the least common multiple of these three uh numbers all right i'm also going to treat a video on how you get the least common multiple all right okay just uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel all right so to get um the least common multiple of these three uh, num uh, numbers, which is the fact of what is common to both, to everything. That so we have to find out a number, okay, where you can get multiples of these three numbers from it, okay? So let's see. Um, this is 12. I think the best bet here, oh, another simple trick on how to get um, the least common multiple, just multiply two numbers, okay? Let's say we multiply 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is what? 8 times 3 is 24, okay? It's 24. So you can get uh, multiples of 8 from 24 and also multiples of 3 from 24. Can you also get multiples of 12 from 24? Yes, you can. And it's what? 2 times. Okay, that is a 2 times 12 is equal to what? 24. You can see in fractions, you really need your times table. Are you getting me? You can see 8 times 3 is equal to what? 24. You really need your times table because um, sometimes fraction comes out and, and the aspect where you won't be allowed to use your calculator. So so you have to really know your times table by heart all right so the the least common multiple of these three numbers here is what 24 okay or better still let me just quickly revise i'm sorry i'm dig digressing okay sorry but let me re refresh your memory on how to get your least common multiple so let's say you have 8 okay 12 3 I'm sorry for those who already know how to find this, but I'm just doing it for those who don't. Okay, please. All right. So first, um, what can go in 8 and 12? Or less, you know, when you're doing your least common multiple, you start from the smallest number, which is what? 2. So 2 in 8. How many multiples of 2 can we get in 8? We would get 4 times. That's 2 times 4 is 8. How many multiples of 2 can we get to find in, in 12? That is what six times then it's can two go in three no you drop down your three can also can two also go two can go in four and also in six so you put two again so two how many multiple of two can we get in four we'll get two two times how many multiple of what how many multiples of two can we get in six three okay and we also drop down this three all right so there's a two here also we put down a 2. How many multiples of 2 can we get into just 1? And we drop our 3, our 3. So the next um, number we can use 
all right the next factor we can use is definitely what three or so we have three three in, uh, in one is still one and three in three is one three in three here also one so we'll stop at where every number every of this becomes what one so to find our answer we we'll multiply all this so we have two times two times two times three so what is two times two that is four four times two that is what eight and eight times two will give us what four times two is eight and eight times three i mean eight times three will give us what 24 you can see 24 you can see we are correct okay so the least common multiple of 8 12 and 3 is what 24 sorry i digressed okay but i'm still going to do a video on this all right just explaining this common multiple and doing several examples okay so back to our question uh, so back to our question so how many times would 8 go in 24 it's going to go three times and we now say three times three and what is three times three is what nine We'll drop our addition sign how many times would 12 go in 24 it will go two times so we say two times seven we'll multiply this two by seven and what would that give us that will give us what four okay follow me closely can you see how we are um we are solving these fractions here okay so three now how many times would three go in uh how many multiples of three can we find in 24 eight times okay three is going to go in 24 eight times and we say eight times five what's eight times five that will give us what 40. so we have to add up all these numbers now so we have here um nine plus 14 that's going to give us 23 and 23 plus 40 that would give us what three six so we have what 63 over 24 we can't leave our answer this way because it's an improper fraction now what's an improper fraction an improper fraction is when your numerator is bigger than what your denominator that's that's what's called an improper fraction your numerator is bigger than your denominator so we have to convert this to mixed fraction and remember what we did here okay so first of all we'll find how many times how many twin multiples of 24 can we get in 63 um it, let's say it's not going to be more than two times all right it's not going to be more than two times so uh and what is two times 24 that is uh 48 okay that's 48 so we have 48 so we subtract to get the remainder is 63 minus 48 63 minus 48 okay where this is a uh, three can we subtract eight from three no we have to borrow a one and 13 minus eight would give us what a five and what's left here we have um five is left here right five minus four will give us what a 15 so we have uh two whole number okay 24 would go in uh 63 two times that's the 48 two whole number and remainder of what 15 over 24 okay right here we can still leave this is 15 over 24 okay now in this 15 and 24 three can go in 15 out also three can go in 24 that's how many times three in 15 will go how many times five times and three in 24 will go how many times eight times so you're left with what two whole number five over it okay and don't make the mistake since this something can cancel out from this then you add up one to, to two or to make it three no you don't do this all right you don't do it i would also do an example where that would what happen where you can add up a one to this whole number here okay but for this if you're just cancelling out just here that's um you know what we did here was three we'll go here five and three in 24 eight okay if you're just cancelling out in the fraction part you don't add to the whole number so our final answer here is two whole number five over eight so this is the answer all right so let's go on to the um fourth one i think this marker is quite thick let me change it right now so i'm going to clear the screen right now okay so let's go on to our fourth i think this is better now okay the fourth question where it's what 10 or number 1 over 2 plus 8 or number 4 over 5 plus 3 or number 1 over 4 
okay so all here we have is what next fraction so we have to convert all of them back towards improper fractions okay so to convert what do we do we say 2 times 10 what is 2 times 10 that is what 20 and 20 plus 1 will give us what 21 so we have 21 divided by 2 plus you just keep the denominator the same all right so here we have 5 times 8 is what 40 and 40 plus 4 is what 44 divided by 5 plus 4 times 3 what is 4 times 3 that is 12 and 12 plus 1 what's 12 plus 1 that is what 13 divided by 4 remember don't change your denominator your denominator will remain the same okay so from here we have to find the lcm what's the lcm of 5 uh, 2 5 and 4 as i said it's quite easy let us just say okay if we do 2 times 5 that is 10 but can 4 go in 10 without the remainder no okay um you the multiple you you would get two multiples of four in ten but there will be a remainder so it's not a, it's not the lcm the least common factor okay of these um, three numbers okay let's try this this is a uh, five times four which is what twenty and twenty can also go in what two is that not it two in twenty will go how many times ten times remember two times ten is equal to what 20 okay so the best um, the least common multiple of these three numbers okay is what 20 all right all right so let's now let's now um, resolve these fractions let's add them up so we say two how many times how many multiples of two can we find in 20 is what 10 okay 10 times all right so we have 10 times 21 which will give us what 210 plus how many multiples of 5 can we get in what 20 how many multiples 4 all right because remember that 5 times 4 is equal to what 20 also 4 times 5 is equal to 20 you can see why your time table is really really key here very key okay it can just one mistake with this you would actually it could make you get that the the the, the answer wrong all right so here we have five times um five sorry five how many times would five go in 20 to go four times and four times 44 what would that give us let's do this together we have four times what 44 times 4 that's 4 times 44 so 4 times 4 this is 16 put down 6 to carry a 1 and 4 times 4 here is 16 and 16 plus 1 is what 17 so this would be plus 176 then put down this plus sign how many times would uh, 4 go in uh, 20 to go 5 times we're going to have multiples 5 multiples of 4 in 20 and it should be 5 times what 13 what is 5 times 13 okay 5 times 3 is 15 we write down 5 and carry a 1 then 5 times 5 here is 1 and 1 plus is 5 we have a 6 so we drop down our 65 okay so let's add up all these numbers so we have 210 176 and 65 all right so here we have 0 plus 6 is 6 and 6 plus 5 is 11 so we write down a 1 add this one to this one plus one here is two two plus this seven here is nine and nine plus five would give us what 15 so we'll drop down a five and carry a one one plus this two will give us what a three and three plus one will give us what a four so we have here four five one divided by 20 okay as i said earlier on you can leave your answer this way this is what an improper fraction we have to convert to what we have we have to convert to what proper uh, sorry we have to convert to mix fractions so we have to find out how many multiples of 20 would go in 451 let's do the long division okay let's do it together here so we have 451 okay 220 okay you can be 45120 okay it's easy for me to actually get this i would see from here and uh, this is 451 so 20 in 400 is uh 20 times okay and 
and we have 51 here we can find another 220 from 51 that's 40 so you can see i've easily gotten my, the answer here so it is uh it will be 22 okay remember 40 that's 51 minus 40 that will give us what 11 okay so we have 11 over 20 this this is the answer but let's do the long division together okay this is also when i'm taking all the steps is to refresh our memory on how to divide how to multiply how to uh yeah basically how to divide and multiply that's why i'm doing taking these steps with you how to also add okay i'm reminding uh, just refresh you know we are practicing, all right? That's what we're doing here, you know, to prepare you for your exam. That's what we're here for, to make sure you pass that test, all right? So in the long division, remember, remember, remember what do we do? 20, 20, can 20 go in four? No, it can't. Can it go in 45? It can, yes, it can. It can go two times, okay? Okay, so it was two times 20, that's 40. So we drop a four, uh, 40 down here. Okay, you don't drop um, the 40 as in you drop it like this. You don't drop it this way. Mm -mm. You drop it here. You start from your uh, your left hand side. Okay, so you drop it this way. And you drop down your one. Drop down this one here. Then you say 5 minus 0. What's 5 minus 0? 5 minus 0 is still what? 5. And this 4 minus 4 is 0. So you don't need to you don't need you don't need to write this down here. Okay, so the next thing you say 20 can 20 go in 51? Yes, it can go. How many times? Two times. So you drop your 2 and 2 times 20 will give us what 40. Let us subtract this. We have 1 minus 0 is a 1, and 5 minus 4 is a 1. So you can see from here, our quotient is 22. So we have 22 whole number. What's our remainder? Our remainder is 11. So 11 then divided by our divisor, which is what 20. So you can see it's the same. All right. So this is the answer for this, the addition of these um, fractions. Okay. Uh, let's do the fifth question here. The fifth question says six whole number plus three whole number four over seven okay so here we do the same thing still okay we convert this missed fractions to what improper fraction so we have this would be six so six this is six whole number so it means the same as six over one plus don't be confused i see a lot of um, ged questions on this i just put six whole number this is to confuse you six whole number is still the same as to convert it to fraction when you have a whole number like this to convert to fraction is what six over one okay where six over one is still six all right okay so don't be scared when you also don't be confused when you see this all right so let's convert this miss fraction together to improper fraction all right so it will be seven times three which is what 21 and 21 plus four what's 21 plus four that would be what 25 over seven okay so what's the lcm here one and seven definitely is your seven one times seven is what seven okay so how many times would um how many times would one go in seven is going to go what seven times and seven times six is going to give us what 42 plus seven is seven is just one times and one times 25 is what 25 so let us add this up we have 42 plus 25 so that will be what two plus five that's the seven and four plus two that's six so we have 67 over seven all right so from here this is what an improper fraction since the numerator is bigger than the denominator so we have to convert this back to what a a mixed fraction so in converting back to mixed fraction how many multiples of seven can we go get in 67 that's how many times can seven go in 67 i think it would go uh, uh the biggest is um let's look at our seven times step we have seven times one which is seven we have seven times two which is what 40 we have 7 times 3 which is 21 7 times 4 which is what 28 we have 7 times 5 which is what 35 we have 7 times 6 which is what 42 7 times 7 is what 49 and 7 times 8 is will give us what that will give us uh, 56 okay and 7 times 9 will give us what 60 
3 okay and uh, what's the next one what's the next one that is 7 times 10 give us what 70 okay and definitely uh, this is bigger than right 70 is bigger than 67 so um, the the closest is what 63 so 7 will go in um, uh, 67 times how many times 9 times we're going to have 9 times we're going to have a remainder and that would be 67 minus what 63 that's what equals to what, 4 so we have 9 number 4 divided by 7 so this is our answer I think we're going to stop here this I don't want this video to be quite long but I'm going to continue this is the first five questions okay of the 15 questions but I'm going to uh, break this down and continue in the next video all right so thank you for staying tuned to this uh, video and um, and don't forget to please subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends family preparing for the GED test to help them pass the exams and uh, don't don't forget Jesus Christ is coming soon repent and give your life to christ all right thank you from gd math practice test you are destined to win see you in the next video